Hey, what's up, friends? On this layback track, I want to introduce you Liquid Sonic's last release, Seventh Heaven. The professional version here and the regular one here. And basically, we're gonna see what those baby have uh, to propose and uh, plug in tool first and then we're gonna play with it really quickly so let's get the job done let me just put the beat down okay so here we go the big dog first okay let's see what we got here first of all this is a emulation of uh, the Bricasty M7 reverb and basically this is considered like uh, the best one of the best if not the best uh, modern reverb okay so this is not based on algorithm this is a uh, convolution but liquid sonic guys uh, put this game uh, on another level with the technology if you don't know those guys uh, they made reverberate 2 which was excellent and uh, basically they they make they made a dedicated uh, plugin for the Brugastio alone and uh, this is what we're going to see today so dk time mix wet knob gain okay you have your metering here advanced metering here for the early reflection late reflection the VLF, I don't even know what, what is that. <laughs> Let me just check. I think that's, that's the low frequency. Yeah, very low frequency here. Yeah, that's it. Let me decrease it. Let me increase it. Yeah, that's it. Look at that. And you hit the boom. Okay, great. And then let me just put. put the beat really down like that okay so you have your very low frequency here okay the early late uh, early reflections and the late reflections uh, um, balance okay so you can have more late reflection early reflections excellent the thing is that with convolutions uh, it's very difficult to have some control over the the, the the, the reverb and especially on some uh, early reflections and uh, the decay and all that and I'm pretty surprised with this thing because they, they give you control over this thing this is why they are, the, the, the impulses are really special okay you have to download them this is some special impulses to use with this plugin you cannot use your regular impulse and all that and basically they give you control like I never seen on a convolution reverb I'm telling you guys and this thing is smooth and you don't hear like click, 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 or some small artifacts or something like that. I mean, it's, it's really acting like a, a, a algorithm reverb with the, with the quality of the, the, the convolution. Okay, so here you have your type of uh, space, basically, and here the preset. Okay, I didn't even download it, the whole thing. That you already served with a lot of presets okay the room ones here okay the ambience here chambers okay i think i i, I have like the half of it large holes second part of the holes plate one okay plate two okay so basically I didn't down download it, the, the part two of, uh, you know, the type of uh, spaces, space one and space two. Okay, then you have here advanced mode. When you have the control over the reflection pattern, the pre-delay, the delay itself, roll off, okay, and the frequency dependent decay time here then you have a master equalizer i love this thing okay you have your low cut high cut and uh, a pretty a pretty uh, a good a really good sounding um, uh, equalizer full parametric okay so this is no joke 
<laughs> I mean, you, you really have everything shape the sound here. Okay, let's see the, the, the small one now. The small one here, basically, it's like, a, it, it's exactly the same, the same convolutions, okay? So this is not like, a, uh, not the same quality or something like that. But less control, okay? So basically, you choose, you choose the, um, the, the preset, the, the, the type of room, and then you still have the, the preset in here, okay? You have less preset, but guys, basically this one is really, really already like a, a really good st uh, starting point. Okay, you have your pre-delay here. You can sync it, okay? If you host, huh? And I love this thing. And uh, the low cut and the high cut, and uh, also the VLF here, and the early late uh, balance, okay? on the knob uh, configuration, no more sliders. Okay, so basically, let's play with this thing and see how it sounds. Okay, so the track is here. It's early production stage. There's not, uh, there's no compression only on the drum bus here on the kick and the snare and all that just to master the dynamic. I love to try it on the uh, not really worked uh, material for me to, uh, to see what's going on, okay? Here we go. Okay, let me just put this fix down, this thing down. So you have a regular beat here. And then you have here, let me just change this preset. Here, regular stuff here. Plug here. Okay. Bass. Arpeggiator here. Okay, I'm making pump in with the trimulature here. And I use the PSP, which is excellent also. Okay. What we have here, the default. Okay, this is basically a basic layering. Okay, what we have here. So let me let me just put down the beat alone here and we're gonna play with a big dog. I'm gonna put it full full mix, okay, just for you to appreciate the controls and the sound. Let's go on ambience. Okay, the VLF here, listen to the lows. Oh boy. Yep. Oh, I love this thing. Need some lows? Here we go. Early, late. Look at that. Look the quality of the... Guys, I'm discovering this with you guys right now. Look at the quality. And uh, there's no artifacts or something like that, you know? If I play with the DK time, look at that. I'm gonna decrease it. Oh boy. I don't know if on YouTube you're gonna feel it. Advanced control here. You have the pattern of the reflections. See that we're gonna change the button. Yeah, I feel I kinda feel it. Pretty delay. Okay, we're gonna mess with it with the dry with the mix dry later. Can have some delay here. Reflection roll-offs. 
can see darker here. Basically, on this kind of beat, I will do it like that. If you don't want to, you don't like, you know, the hi hats to be like too present, and I will use the low cut here. Okay, just to master the VLF a little. Okay, like full dry. Okay, I'm gonna take it off. See, see the, the beat is not really, it's, it's kind of handled already by the deflector here. I really love this compressor, by the way. And, um, but the thing is that, look how it connects stuff. Okay. Um, one thing, one thing um, I really like to do. Let me just try some. Okay. I, I know some of those presets, okay? Because I, I already own um, some uh, impulses uh, from those guys using it with uh, slate reverb and basically on the room here the wooden the small wooden I just love it this one okay so let me just try something because on those drum we already have some uh, stuff that already have a reverb on it and all that okay so one thing one thing I'll, um, we're gonna do here for example on the clap let me just uh, put a gate. Okay. Let me just put a gate here. Just for us to appreciate uh, kind of drastic here. Okay. We have a snare here. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna make um I'm gonna make a, a sound. Okay, let me just activate it. So it's gonna be small reverb here. I'm gonna put the mix all the way up. Okay, I'm gonna keep the the settings like that just for us to see uh, it's working and we're gonna play okay so here we go short verb let me just look at that why i don't hear it let me just oh yeah the mix with here don't know Okay, let's see. There's a demo, guys. So if you want to check the presets, I can make you hear quickly the quality of, of those. Okay. Amsterdam Hall. Okay, we're gonna go to the plates one. Snare plate. Okay, old plate. Echo plate. Repro. Um, spaces, big spaces. Let me increase it. And um, this thing is rich, my friend. This, 
the Fusion ERR uh, have a modulation on them that is uh, just beautiful. Okay, so we're gonna real situation. Let's say okay, I'm mixing or uh, producing. I say okay, Studio A, small wooden. I like this one. The small title, this one. The, the drum chamber also is good. Let me drum and chamber hand. Okay. I'm gonna stick with the one uh, I like to use. Uh, small wooden like that. Okay. We're gonna put some pre delay by here. Let me just put the beat just to see. Yo. The pre delay is good. Okay, we're gonna put it on the clap also. Okay. There's another snake here. Okay, let's put it on the snare. Do I have the low cut? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna put it on this thing. And this reverb is real. Look, look how, look how um, it's a. Uh, it's harsh here okay now it really softened the things like crazy okay on the sim I'm gonna call it M7 There's a percussion here, I think. There's a small percussion here. But the depth it gives. Okay, you also have this. Let me just... We're gonna see. The goal here is it's really difficult and uh, the, it's it's really um, a personal thing, you know, when it comes to the river. Let me just put them down. Yeah. It's really uh, it's really a personal thing, and you really have to try it. The the one thing uh, that is crucial for me is to see if it doesn't uh, clutter the mix. You know, it it doesn't make it like cruddy or something like that. Okay, so it's it's really a sign of uh, giving depth to a mix without um, uh, without clarity it okay so this is what I'm gonna judge right now I also like the way it connects sounds uh, for the drums listen okay let me put myself on my bus bus is here you have the reverb here kick snare hi hats everything going to beat here instruments here okay so bit only okay and now without okay so look at the depth it's fucking 2d right now now guys There's something about it like um, that sounds right, you know? 
second thing is that you seen that it was really quick to tweak. It's a key element for me. Okay, this is why I wanted to make this video like a really first contact. I'm, I'm literally discovering the the thing with you guys. It just been out since a few hours. Correct. It gives depth and it gives a, a consistency on the beat. Now, when you hit this beat here, you feel, and that's the truth, that I get the sound from different kits. There's not like a... Uh, we don't have the feeling that it's coming from the same kit, right? And this is true. So usually, I try to recreate this uh, uh, behavior uh, to make people feel like it's the same kit with... Uh, you know, uh, bus, bus treatment like a compression, distortion, tape and all that. And reverb of course. Look at that. Now. Really feel that it's a uh, homogeneous, I don't know how you say it. <laughs> Kids, right? Okay. Now we're... Uh, I really like it, my friends. I really like it. Okay, let's see what we can do on the instruments side. I'm gonna, I'm gonna insert, I'm gonna insert another, um, another instance here. Okay, we're gonna call it M7.2, and on this one, I'm, I'm gonna put myself maybe on. Um, ambience okay just for uh, some chords or something like that let me just put the instrument here let's go okay this thing i want to check let me just just beautiful that's me we still have the pretty layer okay I can put it on the it can bring some uh, movement to the track like that these features is that's just simple, my friend. Look at that. The, the layout is it's just simple, but a real situation style. Okay. We have the low frequency multiplier here and then high frequencies. Okay, we're gonna blend with the light here. Right like that. Okay, I'm gonna bypass it just to see. I'm gonna take it as Just, we, we, we are just giving 3D to the mix now. Like that. We can be drastic on this one. This is. A Let me just put something right on this. Uh, distortion, distortion. My old buddy. If you don't have those, run and get it. 
Look at that. Here we go. already some ambiance in here we can make an we can increase the, the feeling of that okay. we also have this one okay let's put everything on it just to, to see if it's it's uh, messy or not Okay, this thing. Okay, this is not mixed, huh? You don't have like uh, AQs. Huh? Look at the depth it gives. Without. That's, that's so crazy. chamber now. I'm gonna bypass this one. Next bar. Yeah, I mean it really respects the mix. Just feel the 3D coming back. This in without. Feel it. I just I just use like the, 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 the pre-delay to give some rhythm and also to disconnect the sound from the reverb. This this way the sound uh, placement in the mix is preserved. I like to do that, okay? And also for the rhythm, okay? But look at that, the quality of everything is connected. If I disconnect now, if I mute both reverb now, I mean, no comment. It's a really wet mix, okay? Okay, it would have been the same with uh, any reverb, okay? Any good reverb will have this 3D space. The key, the key here I want you guys to, uh, to appreciate is first, how fast is to get a really professional sounding reverb. I mean really professional. The second thing here is that I've been pretty like uh, uh, pretty hard on it. I mean, I didn't spend like you know a lot of time tweaking and all that. And the, the mix is not even done yet. You know, only rough balance and all that. And uh, it really respects the mix. So this is a sign for me that this reverb is 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 a high quality one because uh, it really creates space without adding too much uh, uh, vulgaris. Uh, you know. Uh, Reflections. I mean, it sounds right. So, for me, it really sounds like a professional reverb that that uh, is uh, what uh, the M7 is basically. Okay, let me put it back. Okay, so now what we're gonna do here is just to put the small one. So let me just go back here and get the seven heaven okay and just like for example here we've been using a room so let's put the room here so we're on the room it was the small wooden so i think we don't have it we have the large wooden so let's say we're going to take uh, what control we have? Do we have the control over the? Okay. Mm. 
you just try to recreate something I like. We still have the pre-delay here. I don't remember the pre-delay we made here. Yeah, I was like on the feeling. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna use the low cut. Also have the high cut. Okay, we have the control over the VLF here. I like this space. Okay. Now. Yeah, I mean, this one, this is exactly the same, this same stuff, you have just less control, but this is exactly the, the same quality. One thing missing on this one is, uh, is maybe the, the tail, okay, this thing, I'm gonna miss it, the decay time, basically. This is the, the thing I'm, I'm gonna miss the most here, okay. Everything, the rest is uh, more than enough for me, you know, for uh, for regular use, right? But this thing, I'm gonna miss it. But since you have control, you have uh, a lot of preset with the time here. So, oh, you got it here. Guys, you got it here. My bad. Listen, you have the GK time in here. Okay, so no, <laughs> you have. Basically, basically, I really think this could be a, a really great. So let's put it here. This this really could be a, a good alternative. You know, at forty nine. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, definitely consider it. On this one, we wear like ambience, large ambience, okay? So let's go to ambience, large ambience, we got it. Okay, and we were at 0 0.8 here, so we're gonna put ourselves at 0 0.8, done. The pre delay here, we were at, okay, like that. Here we go. Let me okay, back to the other one. Old one. I mean the, the professional one. Let me just pin this thing. Okay, 
today we are on the Studio B in Farah and here we are on the small wooden right? Okay guys, so first thing, GUI, I really love it. It's big. We have we on a high uh, resolution screen. CPU, it's it's cooling. I mean what you see fluctuating here is because uh, I have a lot of plugin stacks already. And um even um uh the, the instruments the instruments are still on uh, on my session, you know, I it didn't bounce the audio and all that. So it's it's not heavy on the CPU, right? So, uh, yeah, definitely, definitely uh, something to consider, okay? I'm pretty sure it's a winner. Um, and I'm pretty surprised by the quality of the, the offering. I mean, 49 for this, I can't see myself using uh, only this uh, a lot. And then going uh, to the professional, for example. It's a good option uh, for people uh, uh, for people that uh, don't have the, the money uh, for now. I'm pretty sure they will offer also some upgrade price. And uh, you have also the bundle to have both. Okay, for example, I use machine. I will be, I, I can see myself using the small one on machine, you know, or lighter version. And then this one, this big one on a real serious sessions and all that. So that was my take on the 7 uh, Heaven. Uh, go try, try it, my friend. You have 14 days. This is what I've done here. I didn't buy it yet. But you have 14 days uh, full demo, fully working. Uh, it's 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 kind of it's. I think that's uh, five uh, five hundred uh, megabytes for this one. And here, if you get only the the plugin with a, s a small amount of presets, you will uh, you will be like around like three three gigabytes, five gigabytes on the version I, I get here. And the, the whole thing is like uh, eight gigabytes and all that. So feel free to comment, like if you like it, subscribe if you uh, didn't yet. And I hope you enjoyed the video. It was really a first contact for me to uh, appreciate this thing. And so far, I'm really impressed with the job. I mean, I'm impressed, but I'm not surprised. Liquid Sonics uh, have been involved in the making of the Slate 1, Slate Digital uh, Reverb. And I know they are reverberate too, the quality of this stuff. And uh, basically, Everything I didn't like about Reverberate 2, uh, the, the, I mean, the, 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 the GUI and all that, they, they made it straight like that on, the, on this baby, the 7 Heaven Professional and the 7 Heaven Regular. So guys, uh, I hope you guys enjoy. Take care. Bye.